Hello, my name is Alex Lee and I am from DesignC. A few months ago, we featured an episode compiling our best kitchen design trends and there was a surge of requests suggesting we should go in depth into tips on designing your dream kitchen. Your wish is my command. Today's episode on Design Seat, we will be sharing more than just tips, details of the kitchen design that most people would miss out and end up making a regretful mistake. We hope this episode could inspire and guide you through learning more about the right kitchen design that suits your cooking lifestyle. Before we begin, please support us by clicking on that subscribe button and keep that notification bell on to stay tuned to more of our compelling episodes. There are plenty of details about the kitchen that should not be undermined. Every design detail in the kitchen should play a functional role. A kitchen is not just for display. Being able to fully utilize it makes very good sense in why you should spend on your kitchen design. Stay till the end of today's episode as we will be featuring an invited guest on board to share her perspective of her ideal kitchen design as a professional model spending most of her time now cooking at home. With today's advancement in mechanism development and technology, a large variety of materials and mechanisms have mushroomed. But which of these features should you invest on? More importantly, which of these features could fit your kitchen? This brings us to tip number one understanding your kitchen layout and prioritize what is essential. The kitchen layout comes in many different orientations, be it the L-shape, U-shaped, peninsula kitchen, single wall kitchen, the gallery kitchen or even the kitchen island orientation. Whatever type of kitchen layout it is, the flow within the kitchen is very important. A concept which we call the kitchen work triangle would allow a fluent workflow within the space itself. Taking food out from the refrigerator, having sufficient preparation space to defrost or to rinse the food around the basin and off to the stove for cooking. This triangular formation between the refrigerator, sink and cooking area would ensure a good workflow within your kitchen. common mistakes in the kitchen layout that you should avoid. Insufficient workspace between the walkway. You need to take that into account. For both cabinet doors or drawers to be able to be accessible, a minimum of four feet clearance of a walkway would be advisable. Do not place the refrigerator in the center of the triangular. This would disrupt the workflow in the kitchen. Insufficient worktop spacing beside the cooking area and the washing area. Sufficient space beside the cooking area would allow room for you to place your hot pans and at times, prepare for plating. Tip number two, optimizing space. The kitchen layout is usually dictated by the size of the kitchen. The more space you have, the larger of a kitchen cabinet you could fit. However, if space is limited, space optimization is very crucial. Merging the dining table and the kitchen island allows you to have a larger centerpiece. Joining a small dining table to the kitchen cabinet could allow you to have a dual function workspace, a dining top and a peninsula worktop for preparation. Maximizing usage of dead L-shaped corners. 
most of the time the L-shaped and U-shaped kitchen would encounter having inconvenient, inaccessible corners. And with today's varieties of kitchen accessory solutions, this problem could be easily resolved. If you have limited worktop space in your kitchen, consider having a customized cover that could be placed above your cooking hob or a chopping board that fits over your sink. This would allow for additional space for preparation when necessary. Instead of having empty splash bag, utilize the space for cups and small storage capacity. Making use of cabinet doors for extra storage, but it is advisable not to place too heavy items to avoid disalignment to your kitchen doors. Consider having a trolley or kitchen cart. You could use it to store daily sauces and oils instead of cluttering the tabletop space and the top of the trolley could be used as a chopping board for preparation top while cooking. Choosing the right appliances and knowing the right height. If you do practice baking at home, a built-in oven would be certainly a must-have. Placing it at an eye level would make it reachable at ease without overbending your back. However, if space is a restriction, an option of placing the oven below the countertop could also be a clever space-saving option. But in this case, you would need to identify what sort of a baking that you normally practice at home. Heavy baking like chicken, turkeys and so on, the eye level positioning would be highly recommended as the bending down under the counter for heavy baking would easily cause injury. The cooking hood and hob is also a common error I notice in most of the existing homes of our clients. It is best to follow the recommended distance height between the hood and the hob to ensure the best suction capacity of the kitchen hood. The built-in refrigerator is one highly sought-after addition to most of our clients today. If you are one that leans towards the minimalist design concept, a built-in refrigerator could indeed keep the entire kitchen modern and always in an orderly fashion. Tip number four, choosing the right accessories and sanitaries. Instead of stacking your kitchen wares, a plate and bowl organizer would be a smart solution or even pot and pan organizers and even cutlery organizers. There are two types of utensil organizers which we always implement to our designs. The dining utensils like fork and spoons are normally located at the outer side of the kitchen for easier access. As for the cooking utensils organizers, it should always be located closer to the cooking area. If you're right-handed, the utensil drawers should be on the right for easier access. And if you're a lefty, it would be preferably located on the left. The automatic bifold overhung cabinet feature is an ideal solution for tall overhung cabinets that stays within easy access. For heavier items stored at a high level, the pull-down basket is highly suggested. The pull-out larder is an option for lightweight daily groceries like snack bars, cereals and salts. However, for heavyweight storage for pots, pans, rice, flour or so on, internal pull-out drawers would be more advisable. The glass cylinder sliding tray is a very convenient hack to most of our households today. It comes in aluminium finish and protects the carpentry from getting damaged and at the same time making life easier for us. Power track sockets keeps your kitchen neat and flexible, keeping your kitchen organised and at the same time being modern. Pop-up sockets could also be another fancy option to consider. The kitchen sink comes in many different options in shapes and materials. Our clients always throw us this question, should I use a large single basin sink or double bowl basin sink? The answer to this question would solely depend on two answers. Could your kitchen fit a large sink? If you live in an apartment and the kitchen area has fairly limited tabletop space, it is highly recommended not to triumph over the kitchen top space. It is also always more recommended to go with the undermount sink over the top mount sink, as you would reduce having stagnant water stored around the sink after washing your dishes. And it also adds depth of your kitchen sink. Tip number five, lighting design. Lighting design in the kitchen is not just for aesthetic purpose. A very crucial point for functional kitchen would also require good lighting design. Do not install lightings only at the center of the kitchen pathways. 
lighting above the kitchen worktop should not be undermined. If you're standing in front of the worktop with an overhung cabinet above and the only lighting in the kitchen is above you, you will be casting a shadow of yourself while using the worktop. This could potentially cause injury as it could cause your vision to be unclear. Lightings underneath the overhung cabinets would light up the kitchen top evenly, making it comfortable and safe for preparations. As for aesthetic point of lighting designs, strip lights inside the cabinet could enhance the visual impact of your entire kitchen, making it modern and pleasant to look at as a highlight to your home. The placement of lighting should also be considered. If the display items are highlights, the lighting position should be placed in front of the object. However, if the display items are too messy and irregular, the lighting positioning could be placed behind the object and the carcass design would be highlighted instead, creating a silhouette outcome for the display of the kitchen. A hot topic among our viewers when it comes to kitchen design, a trap clients always fall for, because it's a must-have dream for all your kitchen users, is having a kitchen island at home. Not every kitchen can fit an island. Consider other options based on the tips I've shared today and turn your kitchen into a functional and exciting addition to your dream home. Based on all the kitchen designs that we have shared with you today, every kitchen is not just about its aesthetic values, but more importantly, it meets the owner's requirements, making the usability of the space functional and optimized. Today's episode, we invited a guest on board to share her experience as an active home chef and share her few words about her ideal kitchen design. Let us invite Jennifer Ling. I'm Jennifer Ling and I'm a fashion model. I'm currently a Thermomix advisor and a YouTuber. I love cooking since I'm young. I mean like, yeah, since I was a kid. So um, to get into this Thermomix career, I explore even more about cooking, yeah. I think to have a functional kitchen is really important as um, I'm going into this YouTube uh, kind of industry and I need to shoot a lot in my kitchen and yeah, now I realise the importance of to be able to have a, an island and also like a functional kitchen is yeah, really important. As I, I was cooking just now, the placing of the equipment is really important like the cutlery is in front of me like um, the silver vest is just next to me so I can access um, easily yeah, while I'm cooking. After listening to Alex's explanation earlier, I think yeah, um, everything is quite makes sense. Like um, to have an uh, oven at the right angle and also like um, island suitable for your height and the size of the thing have to match your cooking. So I used to think that um, beautiful kitchen is not functional but after Thermomix journey and I think actually there is a lot, a lot of um, beautiful kitchen but still functional. This episode is sponsored by Opine Home, a leading custom cabinet manufacturer with over 28 years of experience in the industry. To know more about Opine, you could find the link to their page on the description column. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. My name is Alex Lee and I am from Design Seat. Please support us by slamming on the subscribe button and clicking on the notification bell right beside the subscribe button to stay in the loop of more compelling episodes. Thank you for watching.